Hey everyone, it's Jeffree Star, and I'm at the Buzznet.com headquarters. I don't know, I mean, Avril's kind of, you know, she's five years older now, but she still looks 12, so of course I had to check out her new song. And even though she's a whore and her boyfriend's ugly, I really like her song. But it says, hell yeah, I'm the f***ing princess. And yeah, maybe a 14-year-old or Jeffree Star would say something like that, so you gotta give it props. Jeffree Star is one of the biggest influencers of our time, and it's no doubt that he's changed a lot since the early days. If you're a real fan, you remember his launch into fame through MySpace and his music career. It was in the era of the scene kid. Fast forward to 2020 and Jeffree is the makeup reviewer on YouTube, has a super successful brand, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and is just at the top of the world. Not to mention he looks fabulous all the time. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Jeffrey and see how he's transformed over the years and found his killer confidence and unique style. Jeffrey stars 34 at the time of this recording and we know him best as a YouTube icon and probably the most influential beauty guru of our time. He's a makeup reviewer, makeup artist, and of course, has his own successful line too, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. But he's dabbled in everything from singing to modeling and more since the early days. Forbes crowned Jeffrey the fifth highest earning YouTuber last year, banking 17 million or more from YouTube money alone in 2019, and it's not the first time he's made that list. So over the past decade, he's been building an empire. It seems like Jeffrey was made to be in the spotlight, but it hasn't always been easy. For his rise to the top, he was struggling to make ends meet, and he's also been notorious for feuds and drama over the years. But this unapologetic, honest attitude is one of the reasons fans love him so much. He's also pretty honest about any work he's had done in his personal life, as he vlogs and shares it with his 17 million plus subscribers on his channel. What's going on guys and girls, I'm Kara, and this series we've titled Before and After. Today's video is going to be all about Jeffree Star, his transformation, and how he's changed his looks over the years. Although Jeffrey always looks flawless with perfect makeup, glamorous wigs and more, this wasn't always the case. Like many of us, he had to get through a thin eyebrow phase and other less than glam looks. We'll look at Jeffrey in the early days, see what work he's had done and much more. I've also done other celebrity transformation videos on the likes of Nikki Tutorials and Jeffrey's ex Nathan Schwant, and we'll link to some at the end of this video. If you like this channel, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you never miss out. I've been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. Now let's get into this video. Let's start by looking at Jeffrey before. Although he started experimenting with makeup at a very young age, 13 to be exact, it took him some years to develop the skills he has today. As a teen, Jeffrey would steal his mom's eyeshadow and copy looks from fashion ads, but it wasn't long before he worked at makeup counters such as MAC and did makeup well enough to make a job out of it. Looking at Jeffrey before he embraced his feminine side and love for all things pink, you may not even know it's the same person. However, I still think he does have the same face shape. When he was still Jeffrey Steininger, his yearbook photo shows him starting to rock his unique sense of style that we know so well. Then of course, as Jeffrey became more well known thanks to the OG networking site MySpace, he fine tuned his look with the signature pink hair and eyebrows. By 2006, Jeffrey was a MySpace sensation and the most followed person aside from those who are already famous artists. In this queen of MySpace era, his hair stayed pink at all times, or at least partly, and was quite long. Those razor thin pink eyebrows Jeffrey had were definitely something else, but eventually he ditched them, and these days his look has evolved a lot. One thing that sets Jeffrey apart is the fact that he identifies as androgynous. He was born a male and technically does identify as a gay male, but he doesn't feel the need to be put in a box. Jeffrey explained it himself in the past, stating, I think everyone doesn't know what Jeffree Star is. Like, are you a man? Are you a girl? What are you trying to be? And at the end of the day, I'm just all about pro-expression. I don't wear fake tits or wigs, so I don't really consider myself a drag queen, but I am really obsessed and inspired by fashion in general. I started as a makeup artist looking through magazines and being obsessed with the idea of just changing how you look with some makeup brushes. So I don't really call myself anything. I am a guy. I don't want to have a sex change. You know, my mom 
mom blessed me, so I'm just gonna stay a man and look like a girl, and everyone's gonna effin' like it. Although Jeffree Style has changed with the times, his identity is something that stayed constant. As far as I know, Jeffree hasn't had any over-the-top plastic surgery done, but there are a few procedures we know of and some we can speculate about. So let's take a look. First off, Jeffree has admitted to getting forehead surgery done on his YouTube docu-series with Shane Dawson, The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. Back in 2016, he had his forehead lowered. He said the surgery was to fix his hairline, which was receding. Apparently, receding hairlines run in Jeffree's family, so he wanted to fix the issue. Since I can remember from like eighth grade on, I noticed that I had a widow's peak where my hair would come more towards a point and my temples were just kind of like bare of hair. So right now, I'm sure you guys are looking and you can see this darkness all around. That is my new hairline. A forehead reduction surgery, according to Healthline, can help reduce the height of the forehead. Their website also says, larger foreheads may be due to genetics, hair loss, or other cosmetic procedures. This surgical option, also known as hairline lowering surgery, can help balance the proportions of your face. So that gives you a better idea of what Jeffrey had done. We also know that he had a hair transplant, so that can be considered cosmetic work too, and the two procedures were related. Jeffrey posted a video on his Instagram after the hair transplant showing the incision where the surgeon harvests the hair. Jeffrey also wrote, this hair is genetically programmed to not fall out. These hairs are permanent. The doctor and his team dissect everything under a microscope and to make each hair follicle precise so it flows with my new hairline. Sounds pretty crazy. He also shared a video a few months after the surgery on his channel and it was pretty graphic. But if you want to see Jeffrey get super real about the entire procedure, it's out there. And then they numbed my entire forehead. So from like temple to temple here, they did a lot of injections and of course the swelling from the numbing kind of happened later on but my entire forehead was completely numb. I was wide awake, I was watching movies actually so I was just kind of like sitting there on the operating table. In that same video, Jeffrey mentioned how he gets his lips done and had his teeth fixed. Jeffrey is pretty transparent about the lip injections and also made videos about it on his channel. Back in 2016, he had already been getting them done for six years or so, but when you compare pics of his lips from way back, the difference is clear. Unfortunately, Jeffrey had a bad experience years ago with his lips too and had to get it fixed. A doctor actually injected a silicone mixture with the Juvederm Jeffrey normally gets without his consent, and he didn't notice until years later. And of course, silicone is a bit controversial because it's a permanent material, and although it's on the cheap side, it often leads to infections and bad side effects. Basically, it's just bad. As a result of the silicone in his lips, Jeffrey had a bunch of bumps forming on the inside for years. Then in 2019, Jeffrey's current doctor finally removed the silicone. Like I mentioned, another thing Jeffrey had completely reconstructed are his teeth. He revealed that he was born with already bad teeth and they just kept getting worse since he loved sweets. Looking at photos of his teeth before compared to now, you'll see what he's talking about. These days, Jeffrey's teeth are made from zirconia crystals and he had every single tooth in his mouth redone. He said, They shaved them down to the little points and put crowns over them. It was really painful, but really worth it. Well, I think it was worth it too. I mean, he does have the perfect smile. Aside from the stuff Jeffrey's been open about, I don't think he's had any other cosmetic work done. There are times I think he had a nose job, like when I see his side profile from back in the day. But I think Jeffrey would have told fans if he got his nose done. What do you guys think? Some of you may also assume that Jeffrey gets Botox, but he's also put those rumors to rest. It's true. So, I've had my lips done. Do I have Botox? Do I have filler? Do I have anything else in my face? No! That is the final answer. I don't know, maybe people don't believe me because I've said shit in the past, I don't know, but I can move my forehead, I can move any part of my face. I mean, there's no Botox in this face, or I'd be a little more frozen. Aside from his lips, he says he has no fillers in his face. So after comparing Jeffree Star from his early MySpace days to now, we can see how he's fine-tuned his unique style. He may not have those sky-high, penciled-on pink eyebrows anymore, but he still shaves them off. Jeffrey's actually said he's been shaving them off since he was young, so something's never changed. He explained in a video, I've shaved my eyebrows off since 10th grade and I always get asked to use brow stencils. I honestly just freehand them on every single day. 
and one year he even did no brows. Before, Jeffrey was also known for his signature hot pink hair, and while these days his hair is blonde, he owns plenty of glamorous wigs for when he wants to switch up the color. He actually wears them often, and not just pink ones. He has every length, style, and color of the rainbow in his hair collection. Aside from a hair transplant and forehead reduction, Jeffrey hasn't had any plastic surgery over the years. He's fixed his smile and loves his lip fillers, but that's about it. Jeffrey does have pretty flawless skin for someone in their 30s, but he denies any Botox and just swears by fancy products, a great skincare routine, and overall health and diet. He also drinks a lot of water. One more thing that's changed on Jeffrey from then until now is his tattoos. In their early days, he already had quite a few, but now he's covered from head to toe with gorgeous ink. He's even posted his tattoo diary videos on his channel. Many of Jeffrey's tattoos are portraits with sentimental meanings, some of which include his great-grandmother, Audrey Hepburn, Kurt Cobain, Elvis, Mona Lisa, Patrick Bateman, and even Jaws on his stomach. Of course, there are a bunch more, but you get the idea. Looking at Jeffrey over the years, it's clear he's only become more confident, but he's never been afraid to be himself. I think he looks great now and still does makeup better than anyone's business. Not to mention, I'm jealous of how perfect his skin is. What do you guys think about Jeffrey's transformation? Is there anything he had done that I missed? Let me know in the comments. Okay guys, now I'll read out a few comments from previous videos. On our Jessica Simpson before and after video, William Sands said, I love this video, very respectful and giving Jessica the credit she deserves. Most hosts are so harsh on her and make fun of her too. I'm glad you didn't. She's a beautiful, humble, and authentic human being. For sure, I wish you could have more Jessica content in the future. She's killing it nowadays. Her book is New York Times bestseller for two consecutive weeks, and it's number one in two different categories. Thanks, William. I'm glad you liked the video, and I'm happy for Jessica. I love her too. I would totally do more vids on her, maybe a house tour or a top 10. Let me know what you want to see. On our Paris Hilton house tour, Karen Lee said, That doggy mansion is incredible. I love that she is such an animal lover and has donated lots of animal charities. Keep being fabulous. Totally agree, Karen. I already loved Paris, but her love for dogs and animals makes me like her even more. And on our recent Dwayne Johnson The Rock house tour, Kathleen Wilson said, He's such a wonderful inspiration to all of us youth here in Hawaii. We are so proud of him and all he represents. Thanks, Kathleen. I think Dwayne is great. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. If you want to talk more about Jeffrey's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. I want to know what you guys think. What was your favorite Jeffrey look over the years? Or what do you think changed his appearance the most, if anything? Be sure to let me know in the comments or let me know who you would like me to make a Before and After video on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.